just got this box in the mail. If you can't tell what it is, you're about to find out what has 60 of it inside. Lego minifigures, confidential minifigures at that, if I can get out of the box. Here. And here they are, the minifigures in the box. Don't put on shelf before May 1st. Don't worry, they aren't getting put on the shelf, so you don't have to worry about that rule being broken. It also says not to cut it with a razor, so I went and grabbed a knife. You know, we're, re we're really skirting around the rules today, but that's all right. And that there is a fresh case of Disney Series 2 minifigures. Here you go. That is the box as is. We will be doing a full box unboxing on my YouTube channel. You guys will see that video up before the vlog comes up, so you can check that out. All right, Corey. You see what day that says? Don't put on shelf before when? This What year? 2019. Do you know what today is? April 21st. So is this illegal? No. As long as I don't put it on my shelf, right? Okay, we're in the clear. Whew. Then I have my full set over here. Can I get this? Don't wait, no. Hold on, I had that separating them. That's why that was there. Oh. That's separating, because that's the set. That is a full set of, I think this is all of them. That's a full set minus a couple. These are the ones that are just extra. Hayward from the corner, Hayward says I'm going back to Indiana. Where's the broom? Where's the broom? The Celtics are gonna sweep the Pacers. We need a broom. So I just finished filming my Disney Series 2 review. Talked a bunch about that, so I gotta work on editing that video. I got a package from eBay. And within is the beautiful Mini AT80. I saw the Hoth, um, the Hoth, what is it? The Hoth set for May the 4th, and I was like, all right, I need this now. So. I have the mini at at again. We're gonna put this on a shelf. I think this is just gonna be a background thing for a while. This other box I have here is the Technic Django Ooh. Fett. So my Technic collection grows of Star Wars Technic sets. So that's my little eBay haul for today. Technic Django Fett, I think I paid like 25 bucks for that and I paid 25 bucks for that. So 50 bucks for both sets, brand new sealed in box. Can't really beat that at all. Beautiful looking Jet. Not really, he's ugly. <laughs> Got him. It is 6.30 a.m. and I have jury duty today, so I am not excited about that. I probably got like four and a half hours of sleep, so yay me. The sun isn't even up. Gotta love it. Early morning traffic, baby. Uh, we're almost there. I had some donuts and uh, I'm ready to just be in the room or whatever the heck you're supposed to do and get it over with. Got a few NASA buses in front of me too. That's kind of cool. I haven't been to NASA in a while. I need to go up there and just like do the whole visitor thing. That would be interesting. So we were let go from jury duty. I actually just had some Blaze pizza over here. I had to run up and do a U-turn and come back. But yeah, uh, no jury duty basically. I just had to sit in there for three and a half hours for them to tell me that we didn't have jury duty. So that was good. But uh, now I get to go home and at least my videos for the next few days are done. It feels good. I actually got a lot of work done uh, preparing just in case jury duty went longer than expected so now I have a few days to kind of relax. So I stopped up at the Super Target hoping to find the Toy Story 4 RC car but I don't see it so maybe on the other aisle? Haha found it the RC car. Need this one I, I don't think I'm gonna get that one 20 bucks and I don't think I'm gonna get that one so I mean the only reason I might even consider picking that one up is for Forky but other than that like I think I'm good with just getting the RC car for now though. I think I'll hold out on anything else for like double VIP points from Lego or a good sale or something, but this is what we're getting for now. I had some time to kill today before the Bricks and Bits podcast and I figured I'd run up to Target just to get a pretzel and get some food. And of course, down the Lego aisle as usual. And there is Emmett's Triple Decker couch. Um, I thought that didn't come out till May 1st. Like it's actually like on the shelf. So I'm actually kind of surprised. So I'll be picking that up. So today is Tuesday and we usually record Bricks and Bits on Wednesday, but for whatever reason with like jury duty today and like getting so many videos crammed into such a little amount of time, like just trying to get everything done uh, for my channel, I kind of overlooked the fact that today's Tuesday and not Wednesday and I like assumed in my head that we were recording the podcast today and so like I spent like, I don't know dude, I just, I got everything done for the podcast and I'm just sitting around like, all right, anytime they'll be on Discord, Bricks are and we'll, we'll record the podcast, everything's gonna be great. And like, no one's getting on. And so I text them like, hey, where are you guys at? And they're like, wait, we moved the podcast Tuesday? And I'm like, oh my God, it's Tuesday. 
we're not doing the podcast today. So that happened. At least now I'm gonna I'm actually gonna go out in the living room and watch. I'm not gonna watch on my computer. I'm gonna watch the the Bruins Leafs game seven, and uh, hopefully that goes well. I can relax. Like oh my god, I was so like all right. And I need I need some personal time after that one. I I haven't done that like in a while where I've like just not known the day. It's not even that I didn't know the day. Like I knew I had jury duty day and everything right. Like it was Tuesday. Upload ask him and our. I don't know. I just for whatever reason I I just put the podcast on this day and I was like it's happening like today and I have to get everything done. So I got everything done. I got all the stuff set up for it and like I was ready to record. Had everything up. All right, got the triple decker mech taken apart. Got to make it into the couch during intermission. Oh yeah, baby. Let's go. I'll do it. So the Bruins won. I'm about to play some Call of Duty with You Know Why, which should be a good time. And my review of the Triple Decker Couch just went live, which is great. Looks like already 25 likes and no views. <laughs> and a bunch of comments. So that doesn't make sense, but that's normal for YouTube. Whatever. Uh, I'm going to open up my laptop here in a second and start working on the speed builds for the two sets that I built today. The Triple Decker Couch and the uh, Toy Story RC car, which, by the way, is tiny. Like, I am surprised by how small this thing is. So... I don't know if it's going to get that good of a review from me, but uh, it is. Wow. It's so unexpectedly tiny, but that's what it is. So I got to review that tomorrow. So I just uploaded this new video about this thing here, which I finally got in the mail. My Toy of the Year award for the uh, construction toy of the year Lego Star Wars BB-8. Yeah, bought this on eBay for 100 bucks. I just uploaded my unboxing video, kind of asking people what the heck they thought about it. So that's a thing. That's done. Podcast coming up here soon. I gotta get, uh, I don't really have to get ready because I got ready for it yesterday. I'm getting ready to film MNR News and honestly, it just keeps getting worse. I need to do something about this because every time I have to do something with my table, like I have to move more stuff and there's more stuff on the ground in the way. Like, oh my goodness, it is getting out of hand. Well, it's been out of hand for a while. It's getting more out of so hand. So I made myself some bagel bites and if you guys didn't know, the new Harry Potter set pictures came out. So I'm working on a video for that. You can check that out on the main channel, but oh my God, I need to relax so bad. Just working on videos all day. I'm just tired, stressed out, tired, not even like tired, tired. Like I don't want to go to sleep. I just want to, I just want to relax. Just finished game one of our softball playoffs. We lost. I did hit a, a little nice little hit, but point being, uh, we have an hour until the, the next game that I got to kill. So I'm going to run to Chick-fil-A and then come back. I also want to watch Infinity War tonight, so that's on my to-do list. All right, watching the Bruins game there in overtime. About to play some Call of Duty with Nathan and Jared, and I'm um, actually working on dusting one of my shelves up there so I can... I just need to clean it off. It's been getting a little dusty lately, and I decided I'm going to clean it off. So that's what I'm going to do in between games and when I'm not watching hockey. So I'm up at Walmart late at night. Looks like this Walmart finally restocked their Lego aisle, so... Only uh, a little late on getting some of the new sets out, like three weeks late, but they are out now here at this Walmart at least. Interesting how long it took them to put them out here and you know, different Walmarts it always varies and these are probably sitting in the back for a month. So there were a bunch of Grievous speeders and Molox land speeders last time I was here. They are no longer here. So interesting to see those get, get uh, taken up, but still a ton of poly bags kind of sitting around doing nothing. I think those are three bucks, so obviously not something I would buy for three dollars, but they're there. I definitely don't see the other sets. I gotta go home. And just as I hit the stop record button, I, I noticed something. $57 for the party bus. Not a bad price, but I already have one. Another hidden gem, $17 for that. Ooh, that is tempting. I don't think I want it though. So I just watched Infinity War. It was pretty dang good, I must say. I quite enjoyed the movie, and um, it is like 8 a.m., so I'm about to go watch, or it's 7 a.m. rather. I never went to sleep last night, played Call of Duty at like 4 a.m., and then watch the movie. But I'm um, going to go see Endgame with Jared, 8 a.m. IMAX. Let's do it. It is just a perfect morning for some Endgame. Very overcast, cloudy outside, nice and cool, so hopefully the movie's good. On my way to see Endgame right now, like I said, I did watch Infinity War last night, or just about an hour ago, not even really last night anymore, like early, early this morning, so I'm really excited to see Endgame now that I kind of have a little bit of backstory, and I know all the characters, or at least know their more most recent arcs of their story and what's happening to them, so we're going to go into this without, uh, I, I mean, I don't even think I watched the, I, I know I watched the end game trailer during the Super Bowl but like 
I haven't been like watching everything, so I, I'm going into this pretty dang blind. All right, Jared got his end game back. We're Chick Fil A real quick for the for the movie. Keep in mind, it is 7:45 a.m. I have never seen a theater this busy this early, if ever at all. It's actually pretty crazy. I guess people really want to see Endgame. Hopefully we can get a ticket. So the movie was good. I don't know how else to put it. The movie was good. It was three hours, so it was really long. Dude, I'm a mess right now. But yeah, it was a really long movie, but I enjoyed it. I don't want to give any spoilers. So I'm sure there's a bunch of people that have not seen it yet that are going to be watching this vlog. But I'll just say that I liked it, and I'll leave it at that. I'm reorganizing my shelves. Corey says it's not fun, so he doesn't want to help. What's wrong with him? That looks cool, though. I like this. All right, open it. Find out what's inside. What is it? It's a Toy of the Year award for a Lego BB-8. Do I get one? No, you don't get one. Why? Because <laughs> it's not, you can't get one. Getting more stuff done, got this shelf reorganized. All that looks pretty clean over there. Just gotta keep cleaning up. And in here, I'm actually cleaning up my 1999 Target Promo R2-D2. You can see it's pretty dang nasty here on the studs. I mean, that's partly clean. That's about as clean as I could get this one pretty easily you can see how dirty it is there so i'm cleaning that off and so i can display it actually because this thing was just nasty all over before i started cleaning it it still is really nasty on the top here so that's got to be cleaned Corey's building the pelican that i found at target for two dollars the other day so i'm letting him just have that and uh, i'm still working on cleaning my room i got this cleaned off it's what so it's Saturday afternoon now, and I know I was supposed to post the vlog by now. It's not posted yet. I'm sorry it's late, guys. It'll probably be Sunday that it comes out, but my room is pretty clean now. A lot of more floor space than there was yesterday. Also, I have my boxes kind of piled up over here, so it's a little bit uh, of a lie that it's so clean, but it is cleaner looking, more organized at least, and I did get a box of fan mail. I still need to edit together the whole fan mail video that I filmed from, I don't know, four or five months ago now so I can be done with that. Just finished reading all the Ask Him our Productions questions. 800 comments, you guys are crazy. That was a lot of a lot of comments to read. So I got through all that. Gonna play some Call of Duty first. I gotta watch the end of the Warriors Rocket scheme. And of course the Celtics game went really well earlier. So I'm stoked about that. But yeah, this week on the docket, hopefully gonna go to the Lego store on Friday. Other than that, probably a little bit more cleaning up of this area of my room and just general Lego goodness. So leave a like on the vlog if you enjoy and let's get into it. Up at Walmart, there's some pretty nice Lego deals, $73 for the Indoraptor Rampage at Lockwood Estate. It's damaged, so I'm gonna pass on that. I also, oh, Lego Duplo. Maybe I'll pick up the Lego Movie 2 Duplo set now. I don't know, I'll have to think about that. Um, Lego City Mindset, $28. That's about what they go for on like eBay or Amazon. Like just not a good deal, like a great deal. And then one of the Unikitty sets. So that's all the clearance on the uh, Lego aisle that I can see. I gotta think about that Duplo set though. They we'll have see. the Rex Celsior in stock here as well as some of the new Toy Story 4 sets. Not really looking to pick up any of those, I don't think. Just a ton of stuff here. Wow, the 20th anniversary sets and everything. So pretty stocked up here at this Walmart. No Disney series too though. Not that I need them. What's the point of having the microphone thing if you're just gonna have a person stand there? I am confused at Chick-fil-A today. I'm watching Brigitte Tech's uh, Philly Brickfest vlog, but I recorded Ask Him in Our Productions earlier today, and the first little bit that I recorded just just has no audio. <laughs> you can see this has audio? This has no audio. I, 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 you gotta be kidding me. So it is Wednesday, May 1st now, and this is a growing problem in my room. Uh, I've been talking about this for a while, but I think it's really reaching a breaking point here. Um, everything is on my bed everything in that corner got a lot of stuff over here in this corner and all that just so i can film the dang i'm considering building this tonight on a live stream i don't know i also just want to play call of duty i'm not sure where i'm at on that but we'll see i wanted to build this on my birthday but now i'm like yeah i kind of don't so we'll see so it's thursday now and i didn't wake up until one o'clock again even though i said i didn't want to but i have uh, moved a lot of the boxes that were over here out into the garage so i at least got something done i have to or at least i started i filmed the Part of the review for that, I gotta film the minifigs in the actual set, but I got the box done. And I'm gonna work on cleaning off the table a little bit, or the uh, bed a little bit here, get that uh, Toy Story 4 review done. Um, Rex Celsius, I just need to find a spot to display, and then I also need to film my Moss Isley Cantina comparison so I can finally get those sets put away. Yeah, a lot of stuff going down here, getting progress. Yeah. They're in Ohio. Yeah. 
So we've been playing softball since 6.30. I mean, it's three hours. Usually we play two games. We played three today because it was basically win or go home every game for the, the playoffs of our softball league. So now we're done for about a month, which is, is a nice little break. Uh, that was a tiring three games. We shouldn't have won any of them, to be honest. We won two and then lost the, the third one, and we would have had to win beat the team that we lost to twice if we wanted to win-win, but we got second place, so we got a trophy, so that's cool. Lego store in the morning. I'm actually tired now, so I might fall asleep and actually be able to wake up early enough, so hopefully, fingers crossed, I don't wake up at one o'clock and not go to the Lego store. I thought we were going to lose like our first game, but we didn't, so now I don't get Chick-fil-A because now they're closed because it's 10.30, so going to hit Walmart, grab some uh, groceries or whatever, check out the Lego aisle too, and then we are going to go over to McDonald's. Friday, May 3rd, it is 7.55. 5 a.m. You can see right there. That means it's time for our Lego store trip. Now, Lego is actually having a legit sale at their store for once. They actually have stuff over like 20% off, which is pretty good. UB8 for 70 there. So, really good sale. Actually, I'm very happy with what I see, but I think I'm still just going to get battle packs because obviously I have all the other sets. But for those of you who obviously don't have all the sets, like if you're looking for stuff from Lego with double VIP points, like this is actually a great time to pick some stuff up with the promo on top of it. Like, they're really actually having a good sale this time. They usually don't do that for May the 4th. Usually it's like, ah, here's 10% off. It's like, well, F you too. So yeah, this is a good one. Blaine thinks Vader's Castle is one of the worst LEGO Star Wars sets. He's, he, you know, he's on... He's on the Octan, as Brickitect would say. Wait, so what? I'm going to the time machine. A lot of 20%. Oh, because it's 20 years. That's why it's everything's 20%. like a picture of like online did wasn't a fancy one if that makes sense the pick a brick wall is pretty i mean it's pretty normal i wouldn't say lackluster i think that's not a fair way to assess it it's it's decent a lot of good parts just i don't need parts right now so i'll get more probably in october when mocktober rolls around but for now just kind of looking they also have the new calendar here All right, comment down below if Anthony needs to get this or the uh, X-Wing. All right, we'll wait for them to comment. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I, I mean, I would say the X-Wing is it's, 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 it's way better. Yeah, get the X-Wing instead of this thing. All right, we got our battle packs, and they're still trying to figure out what they want. Oh, yeah. It's good and What? It's like Santa's bag. <laughs> <laughs> They do have the new Lego Movie 2 sets here, but uh, nothing I need because I have them all. <laughs> You know, it honestly looks terrible when they include the Planet Series Tantive 4 on the Tantive 4 thing. Like, why bother? That's ridiculous. That's the 2009 LEGO Star Wars logo. I don't know why that's there, but okay. Oh, because that's the 2009 Tantive 4. Oh, I just realized that. That's kind of cool. Huh. I don't know why that's there either. Take a trip. Oh, just a trip down memory lane. All right, that's cool. I like that. Do more of that. I want to see more of that in Lego stores. Oh, he's got a... What the... That is... I like that. Thank you. You took... Two you weeks. took the Rexelsior build yep. and you copied it. That is... I, sort of. Sort of. I, I did build...
Look at that shirt. That's a cool shirt. It's Blaze Pizza time, and my name is now Brian. Hi, I'm Brian. Hello, Brian. No, Brian with a B now. Oh. It's official. I have a, I have documentation. We just had Blaze Pizza, and now we're going back to the Lego store because I think I want to get one more of the promos. So, screw it. I just want one for my sealed collection, so may as well spend another 75 on battle packs or ATRTs or whatever I decide I want. So I'm definitely gonna get another battle pack, but I don't know what else to get. I was gonna get two ATRTs, but now I've changed my mind and I'm not sure, and now it's a problem. All right, so we got our thumbnail and we are heading out now as soon as I get their crap together. You know, they didn't get a big enough bag, so they're not privileged like I am. I have two giant bags. They were given all little small bags for their, their stuff, so let's go home. Watching CWL London Optic vs. 100 Thieves, and I've also made my thumbnail for my whole video, which is about to go live. All set up for a live stream on my YouTube channel. Quite the setup here. Had to bring out my computer and everything as usual, which is a huge hassle if you guys haven't figured that out. So yeah, a lot of stuff going on for this, but I did get it all out here, which feels nice, and I have accomplished something. I'm doing the first live stream in a while, so good on that. Maybe I should do live streams monthly. Maybe that would be the way to go. Like, first Saturday of every month. We'll see. That'd be a cool way to do it as we expose everything. This set shit out of minifigure. The more I think about it, the more I'm upset about it. As much as I like the set, and I'm glad they didn't do another stupid little poly bag build, it is going to grind me for a while that this set doesn't have a minifigure. So I just finished the live stream, and I totally forgot to have people say hello, but... Uh, hello to all those in the chat here at the very end. I had a great time. Good job uh, building a lot of Lego minifigures there and also got the new promo built. So that's done. Actually a pretty neat promo. I just wish I had a minifigure. I think I've made that pretty clear at this point. But uh, other than that, a nice little build. Pretty unique. But uh, that's everything I got done for today. I'm going to go watch basketball. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> right on Giannis. Nasty. So this is going to serve as the end of this vlog. I was about to go to sleep. I have my fan set up here. It's kind of, it serves as a fan for when I'm sleeping. And it's 3 a.m. And then all of a sudden, the, uh, the droid, why did it happen to happen at 3 a.m., bro? The droid, uh, the droid boost set got revealed at 3 a.m., bro. I'm not even kidding. 3 a.m., like, literally just got revealed. So, gotta make that video. There it is, in all its glory. <laughs> the Lego Star Wars uh, droid boost set, or whatever it's called. I don't even remember. That's a golf droid. Oh, that's a weird color. I like the mouse droid, and I like the R2-D2, though. Very nice builds, honestly. Like, the R2-D2 is stunning for the scale. So, great job. I can't wait to get this set. Jay is still yeah, live streaming. It's 4 a.m. now. I finished my boost video. It's uploaded. It's ready to go at 9 a.m. I'm not going to make it live yet because uh, I figured who's going to watch it at, at uh, 4 a.m. So we're going to leave that up till 9 a.m. And uh, I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to finish editing this vlog in the morning. So thank you all for watching the vlog. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. Know that I had to stay up super late just to finish this or wake up early or whatever. So thank you all for watching the vlog, guys. I'll see you all in next week's vlog. Leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Deuces. Well, this vlog is going to be late because I just woke up at 2.05 p.m. I had plans for 1 p.m. That didn't happen. That's, oh my god, oh my god.